Here's your idiot car guys. Hey y'all. Welcome to the Idiot Car Guys. I'm Jeff. And as you see here, this is not my Ram 1500. About damn time you bought a real truck. Oh my god, look who's here, the other idiot car guy. Well, thanks Thank for coming, man. How's it going? Well, you know, what is this? Uh, I, I heard a rumor you bought a real truck finally. You know, I needed something to tow that trailer sitting over there. And some told me that, um, you know this uh, twin turbo 3.5 liter V6? can tow what? 15,000 pounds? Yeah. Now, I have the same motor in mind that I just bought, and I can tow 92. 92, well, now what's the difference? Tom, tell me a little bit more. Since you're the Ford guy, and I'm sitting here going from Ram to Ford, and I don't know, poop from squat. Well, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm still learning on the EcoBoost. Uh, but, you know, my dad swore by it, so when he had one... Well, let's take a look at these two trucks, since they both have... Well, what year is this one? Now, this is the 2016. What year is yours? This is the 17. So, technically, they're pretty much the same, I would say, as far as engine and driving. Yep, they both have 3.5 by turbo. Okay, so I'm going to pop the hood on this and let's just see what's under the hood. Now this is a Lariat, Yep. it looks like you've got a lot of platinum features in it, or limited features. Yeah, it's got the, uh, it's got the running boards, uh, that, the power running boards that, uh, actually my wife likes them because you can get a good firm uh, firm hold on them. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I know nothing about this. This is this is news to me. And we picked this truck out. Um, you know, it was a color thing too. I mean, look at this. Who can't resist this cop tone bronze? Yeah, the, cop, the, the copper snake. Yeah, it, looks, it, do, it does look very pretty. Uh, I, mine has a pearl white. So under the hood, it looks probably the same. Uh, pretty damn close. Let me put mine. Let's take a look at that. Now my my running boards aren't popping out right now because I've got a set. I've got them set to end. Okay. I really don't need the. Well, yeah. As, as tall as he is, does he need running boards to get in and out of the truck? No. Now I've had this for three weeks. I live, you know, I live in Bunfuck, Egypt, so it uh, it gets a little dirtier. Now I do see some things that are a little different. I mean, it, the the engine platform is the same, but your coolant is over there on the side where mine is up in front. Yeah, I got a fuse panel up here up front. So that's a change in 17. Um, other than that, battery's on the same side. Yours is at an angle. Mine's straight with the world. Yours looks easier to work on. Mine looks more of a pain in the ass. So is the <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when we get to our point in time now, should we be working on these things? Uh, you know, that's what the dealership for, or the or a mechanic. Because see, see, I don't agree with you on always going to the dealer. Well, I don't like to go to a dealer. But I don't like paying dealer prices. Yeah, that's but true. I, I also don't like working on them. Anymore. I don't either. I, I can't. Um, so that's why I have Chase living down the street. You know, I've got a full auto mechanic. You know, he lives down the street from me. So. And he likes to be on camera. Does he really? Well, <laughs> you know, if you need something done, obviously uh, that can be done. But, but Tom, I really do like the expedition here. This is. Oh, I, this, I love it. This is a nice vehicle. Yeah, um, it's all the kids. I finally got rid of that crappy Chevy. Oh, that Suburban. We, so, folks, let me remind you, last year, uh, about this time, actually, I believe it was a year ago, um, he made the biggest mistake he'd ever made. He traded in his F-150 Platinum with a 6.2 six, six two. Six two liter. I miss that truck. That, even though it had almost 200,000 miles on it, 
was a good solid running truck for a Chevy Suburban. And we did a video on that. And we can, uh, you know, if you go back and look at our previous videos, we did kind of a. Uh, uh, we did a walk around on it. Yeah. We, we, we pointed out its many deficiencies. Yes. And have you come across any deficiencies in this? You've owned it for three weeks, and when you brought the Suburban over to that campground, you'd owned it about three weeks. Yeah. And I hated it. <laughs> but why did you. But you bought it because you needed the room. Yeah, I needed the room. I needed the room for the kids and the dogs and the wife. Yeah, and you can still haul stuff in this. Now, this is the longer... Um, yeah, this is the EL. The EL, the extended after, length. After this year, the Max Edition. Okay. And these are 22-inch wheels? Yeah, they're 22s. It's the, it comes exclusively on the Platinums in this year. Okay. Um, I do love this absolute pearl paint job. Now, if our camera person can come up and just kind of zoom in on this paint, I mean, it's just gorgeous. And this is an aluminum body as well. Um, this is a mix of steel and aluminum. Okay. Where the F-150 is... Now, when it comes out in the next year, the 18s, this is the last year for the second gen. Okay. So this this gen came all the way back from 04 to to basically 15, and then from 15 to 17, it had its own little minor little things, um, and then 18 got a full refresh. Okay. So you're a Ford guy. Oh gosh, I, yeah. Looking at this pearl paint in the in the sunlight, that is just beautiful. Yeah. What are the pearl metallic? I guess. So, tell me, you're a Ford guy and you do a lot of research, why didn't Ford use the pickup front end on the Expedition? Because on the Expedition, this is where Ford is trying to get away from using the pickup as its base for the Expedition. They wanted the Expedition to be its own vehicle. Okay, makes sense. You know, for until 15, the Expedition and the F-150 were pretty much, you know, the same thing, except the Expedition had a back end on it. Which, probably this is the reason why you can't tow 13,000 pounds. Yeah. That's, that's, you've got probably an extra thousand pounds of stuff back here. So, well, I talk, this is a, this is an absolute beautiful, beautiful truck. Now, because it's a platinum, it's got the, the fold down boards. Now, he's got them turned off because, you know, this guy here is 6'8, six, 6'9, six, whatever height you are. He don't need that to get in there. But, you know, you get down here to my height, you got to have the assistance because, you know, we're getting older too. But, you know, take a look inside. This is absolutely just simply beautiful. Hey, it's almost the same as the, as the, the platinum pickup. And it reminds me a lot of my of my of my 2011. Yeah, your 11 uh, F450 Platinum. Yeah. But it does not have the power, mind it. It's got the get up to go for the low end get up. Right. It don't have any high end. That's what I'm noticing. So if I got to if I got to hurry up in speed to get up to 70, it's. It's not as great. And don't, don't, you know, don't uh, mind the extra little chip mess in there from the kid, kids. But you know, this is a nice truck, and it's a truck. We'll call it is because it, it is. It's a truck. It's still based on the F one hundred and fifty. Yep. So it is. It's still on that and that F one hundred and fifty frame. You know, this is still a body on frame. Yeah. So this is still a truck. Yep. It, I, 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 I'm not going to call it an SUV. Because most SUVs are unibodies. I mean, you got one for work. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, the Chevy Equinox. Yeah. And the even, Jeep is the is the Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee is a unibody construction. It's not on frame. Um, and that's uh, kind of like the uh, Durant, Dodge Durango. It's on the same platform. So yeah, the the frame on. And that's probably another reason why Ford can say. Hey, we'll give you the torque and the power with the, you know, the 3.5 liter V6, 
and be able to tow, um, you know, be able to tow the, the weight. Uh, but, and that was the purpose of doing it. Did I want another ramp? I did, but this guy here sitting there kind of converted me a little bit. You know what? I had, when I own, when I own Fords, I have nothing with the, wrong with reliability. I have to do a little bit of maintenance every now and then. But it's never, a Ford has never left me stranded. Yep. And I can go back to the pickup that I had previous to the Ram, and it was a, a 2008 Mark LT. Yeah. And essentially a Ford. Yeah. It doesn't have 150, but with the Lincoln stuff on it. And, you know, it was a really reliable truck, um, and it did not leave me stranded. In fact, I had a uh, alternator go out. The serpentine belt actually was shredded because the alternator bearings froze up and the shredded the bearings and I still drove it uh, another six miles before I got to a repair shop. Of course it cost a lot to fix it because I had to put an alternator belt and a couple pulleys on it um, but it didn't leave me stranded. It did not stop running and so I remember you saying something about that. See that Ford didn't leave you stranded. <laughs> yeah. So but anyway. Let's um, show off your pickup real quick. Yeah let's uh you know, it's a Ford, it's a pickup, and, and you know, I like the Copitone Bronze. And that's what we're going to call this, because, you know, it is. It's a it's a pretty color. Mm -hmm. You don't see a lot of them around. Um, and it looks like you've got, you've got the same controls, basically, the same dash that I had in my 11. Yep. So you, it doesn't look like you have the screens that I have. I, you know, and I'm still learning the truck. You know, that's why you're here, is to help, help educate me. <laughs> I mean, I do love, I love all the space that comes in the back of, a, yes. of an F-150. And this one came, you know, when we bought this, it was used, obviously, with yeah. 96,000 miles. It looks like gave, they gave you the great WeatherTech uh, uh, yes. back. Backseat. Oh my God, we love them. I mean, I, I just love how much space you get back here. Yes. I mean, it, that's one thing I do miss. But you know, I do have the equivalent of a eight foot bed if I if I throw all the seats down. Yep. And that's, you know, and we got our vehicles at the same dealership. And I'm not gonna promote or not promote them because was my experience great? No, it was good, but um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say my experience was good with them at all. I mean, I purchased my last truck from them there. Yep. And, we, and that experience was awesome. Yep, same with my Dodge. I, one of their other dealerships, um, I purchased it and I had the best experience ever. I mean, did, they, did these folks treat me right? Yeah, okay. I, you know, in today's world, getting a new or a used vehicle is expensive, regardless. Now, I've done a few things to this. I've already put airbags on this so that I can I, I can tow. Um, Did you I've get already, the Firestone kit that I told you? Uh, yeah, I couldn't afford them. They're seven hundred dollars now. Jesus. So I got the Firestone knockoffs, which if you look down there, they're um, they're actually there, um, and. They came as two in, two independent valves. So uh, on the back, we've got two air. I can go one side or the other. I can convert it to single later on, but yeah. right now, that's it's okay. So, folks, put your comments down below uh, in the comments area. If you like the content of this, we can actually do you know right drive videos of, of both of these, um, and, and you know. I, I guess I want to go with you know with the advice you've given me. We're gonna see how how we like this. Um, I'm stuck with it for a while because now I got a payment. Yeah, I got five year payment too. Yeah, so <laughs> you know it is what it is. That's the world we live in today. Um, so folks, we do appreciate your comments, and if you like the content of this video, please click subscribe, share it with your friends. We really would love to have you uh, as part of our team. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.